go down the slide. Woo! The heck? I can't really look up. The sun's in my eyes. But I hear it. Look, look, Mama, behind you, behind you, look. Yeah, I barely see it, though. The sun's in my eyes. I may have sunglasses on, but it's still not blocking that blind-ass sun. There you go. Go ahead. That's fine. Make sure no bees out here. That's it. You're gonna go swing now. So I have a little grocery haul from Target. So pull out stuff from this bag. I got two boxes of this pie crust because I want to make a pie tonight. Um, I only need one box because it comes with two pie crusts in each box, but I always like to buy two at a time. Two cans of cherry filling because I'm making cherry pie tonight, obviously. Gotta have some whipped cream. Yeah. Gravy for our mashed potatoes tonight. And then I got some turkey sausage just because when I want to cook breakfast, I prefer sausage over bacon, but I will eat bacon. And then I grab milk. Marshmallows, just because they sounded really good. Some Hawaiian rolls, because we're actually going to make a Thanksgiving dinner tonight. Which is why I have the Hawaiian rolls, the pie, we have stuff for green bean casserole, gravy for the mashed potatoes. I got more eggs. That's Alden's water. More bottles of soda, cinnamon rolls, bag of salad, and then I bought a big box of wipes because we like to have those on hand, a shower curtain rod, and then... I got more of those emoji thumbtacks because they're even cheaper now, so they were only 95 cents. And then I already have hooks for our shower curtain, but I'm not sure what box they're in, so I grabbed these just in case. And then I got these super cozy pink fuzzy socks, and these say, stay cozy. And then yeah, I these that. I got to possibly use for my little gnome craft because I know people use fuzzy socks to make their Santa Claus hats. So I'm going to see what I can do with that. But that is everything I grabbed from Target. I'm going to try and get him out of here, settle down to watch his Kindle like I keep telling him to do because he's driving me insane. And then it's probably going to be nap time because he's just really getting to me today. So I'm going to put all of this away, figure out how long that turkey will take. So I might have to start it now. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. All right. So we have, it's just okay, a turkey breast that I'm making. I'm not making like a big old crazy turkey because 
I, I don't do that. So I'm preheating the oven and then this will have to go in for about three hours. And while that's in the oven, I'm going to try and get Alden to nap. And then when he gets up from his nap, we could bake some cookies. Um, but I'm also making a pie. Like I said, I'm basically doing a, a Thanksgiving dinner tonight just because it sounds good. The Hawaiian rolls, mashed potatoes and gravy, green bean casserole, turkey. So excited. Like, I could eat Thanksgiving food all year round. But, like, this time of year, I get even more excited for it. I mean, I've already decorated for Christmas. Come on, guys. So, I'm going to get him out of the fridge. I don't know why there's this, like, weird glare on my face, but... I'm going to go for now and come up with more sit-down video ideas for you guys, and I will talk to you again in just a little while. Also, if you didn't notice, I did not make my yogurt bowl this morning. Um, once we woke up, my fiancé had just gotten back, so I wasn't vlogging, and I just made a pizza for Alden, and I ate some of that instead of making something for myself. Um, but later, for a snack... Like, maybe late tonight, I'll make my yogurt bowl and show you guys how I make it. It is seriously so good, and I highly suggest you try it. You don't have to try it with strawberries. You can do whatever fruit you want, um, whatever yogurt you want. I mean, it does. you can just do whatever you want. Just come up with your own concoctions and see what you like. This is just what I like. So, I'll do that later for you guys, but I did that grocery haul. Um... I think I vlogged a tiny bit at the park. We went to the park right after we ate this morning, and now my fiance's out doing some work. I'm going to try and get Alden to nap after I get this turkey in the oven, and uh, yeah, I'm so excited for dinner tonight. Got that turkey in the oven. I'm so excited. Please don't judge me for how dirty the oven is. I know I need to clean it, but um, I'll get to it eventually. I also got my beloved QT soda. So the normal QT I go to, the one that I prefer going to, the last three times I went, their soda has tasted like absolute crap. And because we have to wear masks in there, I can't taste it while I'm in there. So I don't know if it's bad or good while I'm in there. So I could like tell them it tastes bad. Close the curtain. So the last few times I've gotten it from the good QT, it's literally tasted like completely flat and just gross. So we went to the other QT, and my god, this tastes like heaven. I know if you guys aren't soda drinkers, you don't know, but any soda drinkers out there, you guys know, like, when a soda tastes super good or not. And now I feel like my fridge is a little more stocked because I've got more soda, of course. My amps, again, all of our condiments down there. Butter, some aloe vera gel. This is a this is a skincare product, but I keep it in the fridge because it feels nice and cooling on the skin. Um, and yeah, I just feel like we have. Doesn't look like we have a lot of food, but we do. Like we have cookie dough, salad, cinnamon rolls, turkey, bacon in there, lunch meat and cheese, more butter in there. And then I put all of our, like, leftover stuff from restaurants in here because they're always good to have on hand. And I'm glad I kept this container because it's perfect for that. So they're not just, like, thrown all over the fridge. So, yeah. Follow me for more organization tips. Yeah, just, just kidding, you guys. I am so excited. I know I keep talking about dinner, but, oh my god. I'm so ready. I just need to clean my little pie. Um, pie dish just because it got a little dusty from kind of sitting there for a while but it's a really nice one it's pyrex i really like this dish i have a couple from my grandma's house as well but i learned with those they're not deep enough like this kind of pie pan so the filling kind of spills out of them so i prefer using this one but you guys i'm so ready for this thanksgiving dinner tonight Woo! i can't even tell you I also completely organized this last night. So this is just our paper plates and our popcorn bowl. Our bread is here. This can go in the cabinet. I just stuck that there. This old coffee can, I'm just keeping like clips in for chips and stuff. This has snacks in it. This is actually silverware my grandma gave me. We just don't need it right now. So I'm just kind of keeping it there. My peanut butter so I can always find it in the morning. Alden's, like, Teddy Grahams, Minion Cookies. 
these cookies, fruit roll-ups, more snacks. This has more little bags of snacks in there, like little mini Chips Ahoy bags of cookies, crackers, napkins, mac and cheese, popcorn, and ramen noodles. And then it's going to be hard to see because I have no lighting. Well, you know what? I can turn on this. I completely re reorganized this. That looks a little messy down there. But I just have my cake plate sitting in there. That's my apron. The rest of our polar freeze pops. That's a bunch of snacks. A couple of like um, a cookie sheet, stuff like that. This is all organized. All of our hot sauces, our packets of rice and noodles, all of our canned goods, my bagels, some applesauce. Any of our noodles are like behind this, like against the wall, like spaghetti noodles, rotini noodles, mac and cheese, all of this. And then up there it looks messy, but it's like all of our chips and jello and Oreos, some cough drops just in case, extra things of maple syrup, some straws. I'm just proud. I did a lot last night. I really, really did. Then I reorganized this. I put our Ninja Blender in there, an egg maker for the microwave, which we haven't tried yet. My grandma gave it to me. Some vinegar back there. That to make like juice or lemonade or whatever in. Popcorn containers. Nice big mixing bowl. This is our breakfast cabinet. So it has... Obviously, it has Pop-Tarts, granola, all of our cereal, uh, maple syrup. And then in here I have, these are all the plates that my grandma let me have. This is like all of our saran wrap, um, foil, little baggies, wax paper, mugs, cups, hot chocolate. This one has what we mostly use. These are my Dollar Tree plates I love very much. My Dollar Tree bowls, the ceramic ones and the plastic ones. These are the set that go with the plates my grandma gave me. That's all of our plastic dishes that I had, like from Target and stuff, and stuff for Alden to eat off of. That also went with the set my grandma gave me. I guess they're kind of like little gravy dishes. I'm not sure what to use them for. And then there's like a tray that goes with this corral set of dishes and a ceram or not a, a plastic heart plate that I just kind of threw back there and I leave this here because every time Alton eats mac and cheese that's the bowl he uses and then in here I have these are those other pie pans I was telling you about I just didn't know where to go with them chicken noodle soup this is just kind of all my cooking stuff my measuring cups my seasoning, my breadcrumbs, my oil, honey. And then I have a couple things up there that I can make homemade dressing in, which I really want to try. And then this is like my baking um, little cabinet. So I have powdered sugar here. I just washed these and put white sugar in here, brown sugar in here. This is baking soda. Baking soda. This is also white sugar. But I kind of want to go through this because I, I like this container better than this. But anyway, I have two things of white sugar. Uh, I just threw the marshmallows up here. But I have like brownie mix, cake mix, apple crisp mix, corn muffin mix, sprinkles, stuff for cupcakes, icing, all of that. So I am very excited. Now I have to really um, organize these cabinets. And that disaster under there that I don't even really want to talk about. And up here. There's so much going on up there. I want to organize it so I know where everything is and what I am going to use. And I know you guys really want a house tour, but I'm working on it. Like I said, I really want to make sure everything's like unpacked and put away before I show you anything. I don't want to show you a mess. As you can see, I got my Lucy blanket out last night because I was so cold going to sleep. Now I know I sleep with a fan on, but I can't not sleep with a fan on. Mama. But I Mama. had my Lucy blanket with my big comforter and I slept with socks on and I never sleep with socks on. But like I was saying, I do want to do a house tour for you guys. I just want to make sure everything like looks okay before showing everything. I show li little tidbits here and there, if you guys haven't noticed. Um, 
I just, I'm not comfortable like doing an actual house tour yet. So give me a little time. I will try and get that done for you guys. I know you're curious. We didn't move into like this new brand new built house with marble countertops. Like we did move into an older house. So, you know, it may not look the prettiest, but you know what? We have a roof over our heads. It's a nice house. I'm happy. And that's all that matters. You know what I mean? So just don't expect to see a beautiful home when I do do a, a home tour, but I will work on that. Maybe we can do some crafts later tonight together. Um, I'm also still trying to make a list of video ideas to do sit down videos for you guys because I know you've missed that. And hopefully I can get this hair back down again tonight because I'm sick of having it in a bun. <laughs> My favorite part, about to make the pie, woohoo, one crust in, filling is in, time to do the top, before the oven, finished product, oh, it looks so good, and we made some cookies. So I'm sitting in the bathroom right now because I just got done doing my hair. I think Alden is asleep. So I think I'm going to try and do a sit down video tonight. Um, so I think I'll end my vlog here. I know it's weird I'm sitting in here. I'm sorry. <laughs> and we, we just put our shower curtain up too. I went and bought a shower curtain rod at Target today. Um, so that was very exciting, but, uh, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I know it wasn't much of a vlog, but I did try, and my fiancé doesn't work tomorrow, so I don't know if there will be a vlog or not, or tidbits here and there, but I will definitely try and do more sit-down videos at night. Um, like I said, hopefully there will be one tonight for you guys. So, with that being said, even if I don't vlog tomorrow, hopefully I will still talk to you tomorrow. Good night, guys.